Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Prince of Peace Church. Today is the Tuesday of the third week of Easter, and we're glad that you're here today. Um, the opening song will be, We Walk by Faith. <clears throat> we walk by faith and not by sight. No gracious words we hear of him who spoke as none ne'er spoke, but we believe him near. We may not touch his hands and side, nor follow where he trod. Yet in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord and God. Then help them, O Lord, our unbelief, and may our faith abound to call on you when you are need, near and seek where you are found. We begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you Amen. and with your spirit. As we begin this Eucharistic celebration, let us call to mind God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, word of God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, Messiah and King, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, bread of life, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn by a water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing, that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity to the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now let us listen to God's word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders, and the scribes, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Alleluia. Alleluia. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Alleluia. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Alleluia. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Alleluia. 
blessing, Father. Lord, Lord, be on your mind and lips. You're worthy to proclaim the gospel. Amen. Alleluia. 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 I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you. It was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come Holy Spirit, open my heart that I may give a homily worthy of your people for the reparation of the sins of man. I think that's something of the prayer I learned when I became a deacon and wandered out in this wilderness. Today, the people who are questioning Christ are the very people who have seen him distribute the loaves to the multitude. And they can't believe or they do not see a manna that comes from heaven other than something like Moses gave them when they were in a barren wilderness, risking starvation, and that was their daily bread. We pray for a daily bread, my brothers and sisters, when we say our Father, which is the Eucharist of Christ, which is the bread of life. And whoever comes to me will never hunger. This bread of life, which is the Eucharist, is Christ who has laid down his life for us. And this is a life that is constituted in love, in the giving of oneself to the other. This is the bread of life, which is love, that defeats the world, that the world cannot see, that stoned St. Stephen today, the first martyr we see. They do not see the heavenly bread. And this is the love that is, is a long journey. Christ, there's nothing that the Eucharist doesn't give us that will not be manifest completely in heaven when we are blissfully with our Lord, if we so choose to love him as he has loved us. Love is a, is a long journey. Uh, but the love that was given for us, we see that its final act is a completely broken on a cross. And our lives, in a sense, have to go through a brokenness and to be glorified in the brokenness. Our lives are a wonderful journey that we have picked up the cross of Christ with our baptism and we walk towards him on this journey, this ups and downs, the hills and valleys. I was once reading a book by G.K. Chesterton, who is my favorite Catholic philosopher, I think, the times that I can understand him, where he said, he's lamenting, uh, he's going after people who want to have more than one wife. He said, my gosh, having one wife is like having a door that opens you to heaven. What would you do with four doors when you needed to walk through one? And the nature of having a wife, he saw this wonderful relationship that we have in marriage. It's a wonder because it's a wonder anybody would have me to begin with. <laughs> but the wonder is this love is a manifestation that is seasonal. It comes through time. This love is, I have been with my wife for 45 years now, and she's not the same person, and praise the Lord, I'm not the same person she married. But this love has different manifestations and different characteristics that we saw throughout our journey of life. The hard times, the glorious times, the having of grandchildren, the bearing of our own parents, for example, where the burial and the, the, the moments of torments, the death in our life as someone's torn from us, and now... That becomes a joyful memory because they walked a good life. And we too were part of that life. And many of us are in the same positions now. I never thought I would be a grandparent where you brought the suffering that you're going to have to bear. And you bear in your own body, but you're taking on the communion and to be glorified in your love of Christ. And the fruits that come in the different times of our life as we walk with Christ. And he's always there to nourish us. Brothers and sisters, that we would pray always to be close to the Eucharist that manifest Christ's love for us, that we may manifest his love 
for others. Let us turn now to God with our prayers of intercession. Trusting God's promise, we present our concerns with confidence. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole church, especially where she is harassed and persecuted, that her sufferings may be the seed of healing and rejoicing in the souls of those to whom her ministers are scattered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the initiatives to bring about peace and respect for all human life may be blessed giving us a new reason to sing praise for the tremendous needs of God among the people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have wandered far from Jesus, the bread of life, and have become famished and vulnerable to the poisonous nourishment of sin, that they may return to their Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the sick, the addicted and the oppressed, the imprisoned and those who grieve, that Jesus, who never rejects anyone who comes to him, may grant them mercy, healing, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faithfully departed, who believed in Jesus during this mortal life, may now be raised up to him in eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters around the world who are suffering from the coronavirus, may they find healing and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel alone and depressed because of isolation at this time, that their brothers and sisters may be helped to relieve their sadness by reaching out to them in this time of need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died as a result of this pandemic, that faith in Christ Jesus as the resurrection and life may lead them to eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the people who have asked for our prayers, especially most recently, and the names listed in our bulletin, and all the prayer requests, especially for the people of Prince of Peace Parish for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, you refresh us with the food we need. Hear our prayer and lead us to your holy mountain. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Amen. thank all who have been so generous to our parish. If you would like to make a tithe to the church, you can look on the website or mail your offering to the parish. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for your praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for great gladness, grant also the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of the light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, his rising is the, the life of all the ri- and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of praise as they proclaim, holy holy holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection... You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of blessing, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and we pray for all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace on our day that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For thine is and the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory are yours, now and, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should, you should enter under my roof. roof. But only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Amen. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure you us to eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. So I'm sure by this time some of you have heard that some of the restrictions on faith communities are going to be lifted. Uh, 
our bishop, Bishop Joseph Hannafelt, and leaders of the diocese are discerning what that might mean for us in the Diocese of Grand Island. Uh, when he has an idea, he will let us know what we, is possible, what is not. But be assured what is most concerned to us is the safety of your health and your families, as well as the safety of the priest. So stay tuned. We'll find out soon. If you would like to come to the church, it's open 8 to 9 every day. We have this week's bulletin. It's available there, or you can read it online. There's a pamphlet called Faith and Common Sense, the Catholic Response to an e Epidemic. We still have a few Living Faith books and the White Reflection books. Many of you have asked for my prayers. Be assured that they're in my daily prayers. And if you have any more prayer requests, send them to the office. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We'll sing one verse of Let Heaven Rejoice, hymn number 333. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad. Let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, Hosanna to our King. Sound the trumpet into the night, the day of the Lord is near. Wake your people, lift your voice, proclaim it to the world. Let heaven rejoice in earth, be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim throughout the land, Hosanna to our King. May you have a blessed day.